Doctors say the odds are low, but some fully vaccinated people have been infected with COVID-19. So how concerned should we be about this? Professor of Primary Care at Kansas City University, Dr. Gautam Desai, joins us to explain. Good morning, Dr. Desai. Good morning, Abby. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are so happy to have you with us. Uh, so to this question of being fully vaccinated but still getting COVID-19, it's possible. How, po how is this possible, though? Well, Abby, that sure is everyone's mind. So one reason is that it takes about two weeks after the last dose of the vaccine to be fully immunized. So some people have been exposed to coronavirus right around the time of their vaccination. So their body hasn't had a chance to make those defense mechanisms called antibodies. So they get sick right around the time that they have coronavirus or vaccine, and then they get the symptoms a little bit later. Another factor is that these vaccines are about 95% effective, which is great, but there's still those 5% of people that may not be able to make enough antibodies to fight off an infection. That's why it's important to continue to wear a mask, not only to protect yourself, but to protect others. And does this mean it's going to take even longer to return to normal or whatever normal is going to look like? Yeah, the normal changes every day, huh? Right. Just a little bit. <laughs> it probably will need about 50 to 80% of the United States population to be vaccinated in order to get herd immunity. And that still is an issue for a lot of people especially in rural areas who are having difficulties accessing the vaccine. So we may be looking at normal being pushed out until 2022. Yeah, that's not, not good news for a lot of people who are really ready to get back at it. Um, and, you know, this last year has been difficult, and 61% of Americans report gaining weight during the pandemic. So as a physician, does that concern you, and what should people do about it? Well, Abby, it concerns me as a physician and also as a person. I remember when COVID began, you know, I would just sit around looking at the news, looking at stuff online, having a little snack, and those snacks can surely add up. And as people are spending more time online and less time out of doors or walking or even just walking to work, they're seeing body images on social media that are just perfected through the use of filters, and then they feel even worse, you know, not only because of COVID, and this other, you know, things online that make them feel worse about themselves. So a lot of people have changed their eating and exercise habits. Gyms have been closed. So it's just been a very difficult time. And so what I encourage people to do is to make a small step that works for them, whether it's just getting up during a half hour TV show and just walking during the commercials, uh, maybe do that for a week. Then maybe the next week, get up during the main part of the show and just walk in place at that time. You know, you don't need to have a fancy gym or weights, but just making something that you can do and make progress in is what you should aim for. Yeah, I try to put my phone somewhere else completely that's not in the living room so that I don't just get sucked into what I see on my phone. That's because it can sure happen. And how should parents handle situations with their kids who are not vaccinated? Many kids are not vaccinated. Is it safe for them to go back to birthday parties, restaurants, indoor water parks? Yeah, so that's another question in everyone's mind. So. What is important is what you're doing, where you're doing it, and who you're doing it with. So if you have friends that are going to be hiking outdoors in a park, you know, spaced apart, that's probably a pretty safe activity. But if there's a bunch of new people in town that want to have your child over for a birthday party and it's going to be indoors or in a gym where there's a lot of yelling in an enclosed space with no masks, then maybe that's not as safe. So I would suggest that parents just look at their own individual situation and their health issues, and then maybe just call the host of the party and say, hey, are there gonna be any measures for social distancing or mask wearing? And just kind of see for themselves those three factors and see if that would work for them. Yeah, thankfully the weather is turning around, so hopefully more outdoor festivities are, are more likely in the coming weeks. Yeah, All for right. sure. Dr. Desai, thank you for joining us this morning and we'll check back in with you next week. Okay, my pleasure, Abby. Have a great day. You too.